Good morning. Okay, so here um, are some leftover paints. I actually have a black too that I'm going to throw in the mix, but uh, I don't know necessarily what colors these are anymore. Um, there are about 15 colors here. I'll add a little white, maybe a little black. Um, oh, we got to get rid of that. That one's empty. Uh, but they're leftover colors and I'm clearing out. So I'm just going to throw together a pour today with all of these colors plus the black and white. And uh, we will go from there. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. Hello. All right. So um, I have like 16 or 18 colors here. Uh, more than I had a few minutes ago uh, when I did my quick little intro um but i think what i'm gonna do is a funnel pour and see how that goes and uh so we are going to start with some black and unfortunately i'm probably gonna end up reaching across everything so we're gonna do some of the leftover. I think it's pearl white. And I'm just pouring them in. It's really pretty. And ooh, it's already coming out. A little bit of black. The rest of whatever that was. Yeah. Gonna use some gold. Drop it from up high. And then I did a little bit of coating on the top. All right. Oh my gosh, the cells are so cool. Just gonna let it out. In various spots. And I'm gonna stop there. Deep violet, gold, and I'm actually going to put in some of this copper with all the rest of it. There we go. Some pistachio. Now, I love funnel pours. You can uh, create such beautiful lines with them. And the rest of the pearl white there.
I'm okay with just using up paints. I have no rhyme or reason what colors I'm doing. I'm just tossing them all in there. Some Space Gray by Arteza. up this iridescent gold fine by golden and whatever this really dark pink is I think it's fuchsia or something this is what happens when you have leftover paints you don't know what you <laughs> what you're using All right, this is Color Shift Silver. I do know this color. Using up the rest of that gold. I don't like what the white did on the edges. So I know that this area, I'm gonna go around the outside and it's actually going to fall off the edges, but I wanna bring some of it back in. So I'm gonna do And now there is a lot of paint on here which I'm loving because it's just leftover paint and there's only so much you can do with leftover paint. And I really have no rhyme or reason for my painting today, so. Do some swirls in here.
I'm going to go right off that corner. And then work my way over to this corner.
camera, I got a little busy with it. So um, I love the final outcome. It's very whimsical and it has so many, 18 to be exact, different colors in this piece. I did detail work like I would with my Ninja Swipes and I'm loving it. Oh, these colors are so gorgeous. I'd like to say this is my favorite corner. <laughs> um, in fact, it is. Uh, so we just have these wonderful little swirls throughout the painting, details that create possibly leaves, a forest garden, or weeds, whatever you want it to be. But um, just like my Ninja Swipes, I put in these little bits of detail, but look at this area. Oh, it's gorgeous. And all in here. I mean, look how pretty this piece is. It is so pretty. Um, hanging orientation, I would say it would go like this. So I'm like super excited to see how it dries. Um, I'll go from there, but these, these colors are gorgeous. Sorry, I just moved really, really fast in there, but look at this. Ah, anyhow, thanks for much. So thanks so much for watching guys.